Business Games, Episode 3, Plan B. Welcome to the official Business Games vlog, hosted by business influencer Marco Peterson. In these sessions, Marco links together sport and business to provide strategies, tactics, tips, and game plans on running your business more effectively. Years of business experience combined with the proven methodologies of The Alternative Board. These vlogs form a valuable source of knowledge for any business owner. And what better way to highlight the strategies needed to succeed in business than by referencing sport. So, let's suit up and get into this episode of Business Games with your host, Marco Peterson. Good day, business fans, and welcome to the third episode in this series. I'm your host, Marco Peterson. As always, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your network. In this episode, I'm going to cover strategies to safeguard your business against a crisis. It's all about your plan B, when the original game plan is out the window. So, when you're down in that soccer match, or you're at the bottom of the football league table, it's time for a different approach. It's at this point that plan B needs to come into effect, to get the soccer team performing again. The same is true in business, when a crisis or unpredictable turn of events happens, it's time for that change. But what change? What's the plan? Companies that fail to plan are the hardest hit by major disasters or even minor service disruption. That's why having a business continuity plan in place is invaluable in the case of a crisis or an economic downturn. Planning for a wide array of circumstances will set you and your company up to rise above uncertain times, regardless of how long they last. Whether you're in the midst of a crisis or simply crafting a continuity plan to protect your company against a potential emergency, these nine steps will help you safeguard your business for long-term success. As the company owner, you are the coach that needs to have plan B ready to roll out. Right, grab that pen and paper. Step one, assess the situation and forecast an impact. In soccer, you need to know what resources you have at your disposal and where you are positioned in the league table. The first step in a business continuity plan is to assess where things stand at present in your business. Having a clearly defined and prioritized list of vital services and leadership on hand will set you up to start making decisions quickly if the need arises. Your assessment should involve identifying the minimum core functions in your company. What are the essential services that you offer and that you need in order to maintain operations at a base level? Similarly, you should work to identify key team members and craft a clear organizational chart that maps out responsibilities and chain of command. Emergency planning should factor in strategies for coping with the loss or prolonged absence of any key team member. So, that's step one. Document core functions and get that organizational chart together. Step two, preserve cash and evaluate your finances. To effectively plan ahead, access to reliable financial data about your business is critical. You need to have a very clear understanding of your financials and balance sheet. You don't want to panic and start cutting costs without strategically assessing your options. Preserving cash should be top priority during a crisis. So you need to identify essential and non-essential expenses. Having these clearly documented will make it easy to decide what to cut if the time comes. Similarly, assess which products or services are top performing. When planning cuts, begin by simplifying your product line by getting rid of less profitable products. It may be prudent to reduce your inventory to those that are truly the workhorses of your business. Start a war chest, where you put aside a percentage of your profits every month. This can be used when times are tough or to take advantage of a strategic deal that comes your way. Step three, forecasting. Your accountant's gonna love this. Plan out cash flows, lending, and supply chains. In soccer, you need to know what reserves you have, who is out on loan that can be recalled, and what players are ready to move up from the second team. Players are key to fielding a football side. Again, your cash flow is the lifeline during times of economic strain. Part of crafting an effective continuity plan 
is mapping out worst case scenarios or forecasts. What things will look like with a 25%, 50% or more reduction in business? Focus on shifting to long-term debt over short-term debt by renewing loans. Locking in debt at low interest rates will serve you in the long term and in the immediate future by deferring your outbound cash flow. Having a realistic sales forecasting model based on a significant decline in revenue will help you make strategic decisions about where to cut spending. Additionally, you need a clear map of your supply chain to plan for interruptions. Which component parts are vital and what is your typical on-hand inventory? How long can you survive a shortage of given materials? So start forecasting for those worst case scenarios. Step four, like in soccer, you can't change the entire game plan. The coach will tweak the plan, so to still take advantage of the type or style of players in the team. So step four in your business is to look for opportunities to pivot your business model. This is not a 180 degree turn in your business model. Whether you're building your strategy during a major event or during normal operations, it's always productive to identify areas of opportunity. Look for opportunities that have a high financial impact or profit margin, paired with a low organizational impact or cost, and that can be accomplished in the short term. There might be low risk, high impact projects to pursue, while longer term projects may need to be put on the shelf. Additionally, you should have a clearly defined 12 month operational business plan. This helps everyone stay on track working to maintain the company's key goals and objectives. Your war chairs can come in handy here if there's some low hanging fruit to take advantage of. Step five, leveraging your labor force. This is all about keeping your star players in the football team. They are critical in keeping the team performing well and getting the other players to rally behind them. Be sure you're supporting your employees in a way that fosters a supportive company culture, even during times of great stress. While layoffs may be unavoidable, consider moving essential employees to part-time. Similarly, periods of service interruption or slowdown may be a great opportunity to really focus on training. Ultimately, you want to strive for retention of key staff and avoid a toxic work environment. So retaining the people you have, even if under restricted conditions, will be preferable to the additional costs and challenges of hiring. Step six, develop a communication plan for all stakeholders. A great plan is worthless unless everyone on the soccer team is aware of it. The key to crisis management and effective ongoing operations is clear communication with everybody involved. This includes customers, employees, shareholders, and anyone with a stake in your company's performance. While this should be part of your regular operations, an effective business continuity plan should include detailed guidelines regarding accurate and timely distribution of information after a crisis occurs. This encompasses contact with employees, customers, vendors, public safety officials, if needed, and any other relevant third party. So if you want to prevent a six-year-old soccer game from happening where the kids chase after the soccer ball in a little huddle, make sure your communication plan is detailed and ready for distribution. Step seven, focus on customer attention. A soccer team needs to have the stadiums full of fans and fans watching on TV to keep revenues flowing. Particularly during an economic downturn, retaining loyal customers is critical. Start by evaluating your target audience to ensure you still provide loyal customers with products or services that meet their needs. You may even want to survey key customers to determine what they see as the challenges that lie ahead and the ways your company can continue to meet their needs. With an eye on retention, not on the ball, with an eye on retention, you'll also want to create a plan for continuing to deliver quality products and customer service. Assess your current operations. Are there any areas of customer facing support that needs improvement? Be sure to head off any problem areas before complaints start to arise. Exceptional customer service will go a long way towards customer retention if times get rough. 
Step eight, keep marketing, keep selling. Attracting new high-class resources to your football club is key to its longevity. Your marketing budget should not be one of the first items on the expense chopping block. More than ever, in times of economic strain are when you should lean into crafting an effective marketing plan. Tap into the current pain points for your customer base and find the innovative ways to solve their problems. Although it's wise to contain costs, failing to examine your key customers' changing needs can jeopardize your company's performance over the long term. Companies that clearly understand customer needs and pivot to adjust strategies, products, and by listening to your customers, you'll find new opportunities and quickly adapt your marketing and sales efforts to capitalize on them. In an economic downturn, organizations are looking to find alternative suppliers. If you are not visible, how do they find you? Step nine, all the best teams, sportsmen and sportswomen in the world have a coach or coaches. So have a trusted sounding board for big decisions, particularly in the midst of a catastrophe. Having a business coach or peer advisory board will serve you and your business immeasurably. An advisory board will give you access to colleagues and fellow business owners who may have experience with exactly the situation you're dealing with and who have weathered the storm. Even in unprecedented situations, the group will serve as a community of camaraderie and provide experienced, objective listeners to help problem solve. If you're planning ahead to create an effective business continuity plan before a crisis, it's just as important to run ideas by other CEOs and business leaders who have experienced navigating the challenges you're projecting. So if you want to be the best team in the world, hire the best coaches. So there you have it. Nine steps to safeguard your business or your plan B. If you want help in fleshing out these contingency plans, then reach out to me. Okay, on to the quote for this episode. I might now lose a few subscribers because of my next comment, but so be it. I'm an avid Manchester United Football Club supporter. And so the quote for this episode is from Sir Alex Ferguson. And I quote, attack wins you games, defense wins you titles, end quote. Having a contingency plan is like having a good defense in soccer. It's there to protect your business from conceding goals. This in turn keeps the company in the game for the long term. Do you want your company to win a game here or there, or be successful and sustainable for the long haul? So build a strong contingency plan. That's it for this episode, business fans. Till next time, cheers for now. Thank you for joining us. We are looking forward to hosting you again soon. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share these sessions with your network. This episode of Business Games was proudly sponsored by Tiger Consultants, Payroll Bureau, 